Thank you for joining us for the Ministry of the Word at Redeemed Christian Fellowship in Phoenix, Arizona. We hope the Ministry of the Word will be a blessing to you. Hello, this is uh, Pastor Walter Martinez from Redeemed Christian Fellowship. I'm here with Brad Cutliff, uh, my partner in the Word. Amen. Uh, uh, today we're going to continue with uh, the chastising of the Lord. Uh, we're, we've been studying the book of Job. Uh, and so, what, what teaching is this? Is this like the... This is number nine. Number nine. Number nine. There's nine teachings. They're all on YouTube or uh, on Facebook, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, uh, let's continue with the book of Job, or with the chastising, chastising of the Lord. It's like part two of chastising of the Lord, mm -hmm. I guess. In chapter 38, after Elihu stop speaking God answers Job out of a whirlwind God used words to chastise and correct Job we see that in verse 38 verses 1 through 41 um, in verses 1 and 3 we see that God addresses Job's lack of understanding and knowledge mm -hmm. so let me read that to you or Brad can you read that please yes, sir Job 38 1 through 3 says then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee, and answer thou me. <laughs> uh, man, yeah, yeah, that's uh, brutal, boy, isn't it? It sounds brutal. I'd be, I'd be scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be terrified, to be honest. Uh, anyways, uh, so let's take a quick uh, overview of uh, the importance of the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, you can never get to know God immediately unless you have knowledge of Him first. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, everything that the Bible teaches you about God is gathered knowledge pertaining to his character, That's right. pertaining to his uh, 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 mannerisms, pertaining mm -hmm. to his behavior, his mm -hmm. nature, all of that, uh, you find that he's a good God, a merciful God. He's a deliverer, not a destroyer. Uh, you That's find right. so much about him. Um, so you can't get to know him unless you know about him. The more you know about him, the better you get to know him. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. um, uh, what you what you know about God is found in the Word, and is the basis of our faith. Amen. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. That's right. And so we have to understand that the the Word of God brings knowledge of God mm -hmm. and of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you, without this knowledge, you can't believe God. Right. For for anything, your That's right. your faith is based upon what you have learned through the Word. Exactly. For instance. The Bible tells you, by his stripes you are healed. Well, if you never knew that, well, you learn that about God when you read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So c you can see that faith co is accompanied through knowledge and understanding. Amen. Uh, that's right. And so, uh, but that's easy enough to understand, I hope. First uh, <laughs> uh, Peter uh, chapter uh, 1, verses 2 through four, can you read those to us? Yes, sir. It's actually it's Second Peter. Oh, I'm sorry. Second Peter, Second chapter Peter. one, two through four says, "Grace and peace be multiplied unto you, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, according as His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain to unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises." that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Uh, it, this is so good because uh, uh, it says that uh, according to his divine power, he has given unto to us all things mm -hmm. that pertain to life, that is a good life. Jesus right. has come to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly. I think the Amplified Bible says something like uh, to the full, to overflowing or something like yeah, that. Yeah, amen. That's right. Uh, and, in, and, 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 uh, and godliness, to mm -hmm. for life and godliness. Um, through, how does this come? 
through the knowledge mm -hmm. of him and has called us to glory and virtue mm -hmm. so we can understand that this divine nature this life of God that is in us uh, uh, comes through the knowledge of the word mm -hmm. and, and faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God so we can see that there's knowledge in the word and we can see uh, how this word supernaturally affects the believer mm -hmm. um, because verse Amen. 4 says whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises mm -hmm. so th what the word is revealing to us are the promises of God which uh, is revealing to us who God is, what right. His nature is like, what His character is right. like. That's uh, right. uh, and remember uh, what you just read, when God uh, finally confronted Job, uh, it was all words. It was n There was no sickness, disease, right. or poverty, or anything like that. Right. It was just words. That's right. Uh, uh, you can see the importance of the, of, of the knowledge of God that the knowledge of God plays in the believer's mm -hmm. life. His divine power has been given to us, has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness that can only be accessed through the knowledge of God and of the mm -hmm. Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so what if your knowledge or your information is wrong? Mm -hmm. Bad information hinders access to God's divine power. That's right. So we have shown already that that Job's friends and his accusa their accusations or their doctrine, you might say, uh, was all wrong, mm -hmm. and how it was affecting Job. He was getting, uh, he was, you know, he was, f he was already feeling bad, right. and they just added to the problem, and he just. He just fed into that and started feeling sorry for himself, yeah. trying to trying to proclaim his innocence, and they weren't they weren't <laughs> they weren't hearing it, you no. know. <laughs> so anyways, um, God is so good. Yeah, amen. It is through the knowledge of God that we receive exceeding great and precious promises. It is through these promises that we that we become partakers of His divine nature. Mm -hmm. Now that's important uh, to because the nature a person's nature is who they are, how they respond. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, God has never responded good to evil. Right. He never responded in a good way to evil. I guess you could mm -hmm. say it like that. He is e evil uh, cannot come near God. Right. Amen. Uh, the devil, when the devil acted up, God kicked him out of heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so God has never approved of evil. God doesn't do anything through evil. Right. Uh, and what I mean by that is God doesn't correct you. He doesn't judge you. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't do bad things to you to try to teach you a lesson. Right. Or to help you mature or develop. That is nonsense Amen. in Scripture. Th there's just no such thing. So... Uh, it's important for us to understand that, but when we start uh, receiving bad doctrine, it affects our belief system, mm -hmm. and, it, and it produces doubts right. in our belief system. And it's those doubts that are one of the avenues in which the devil comes through. That's right. That fear, anxiety, all the mm -hmm. different little things. Amen. That's good. Uh, and attacks, like he did with Job. Job said, "That which I find, which I greatly feared is." come upon me so he feared uh, losing his children he feared his children had sinned against God right. he had no real evidence whether they were or whether they weren't that's not the point mm -hmm. the point is he got in fear about it instead of being in faith about it uh, and believing God for deliverance for his children right. uh, he got afraid mm -hmm. uh, which meant he was afraid of God's wrath right. uh, and, and, and we should all be afraid of God's wrath, but in this case, we're talking about a man that was in covenant. Mm -hmm. He should have trusted in that covenant. Right. Um, but he, he lacked knowledge of God's character, and that's he part of the problem. He lacked the knowledge. Com yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, like, again, they, don't ha they didn't have the word. Right. They lived by total revelation mm -hmm. uh, uh, out, of, out of what God was feeding their, their spirit, their conscience. Um, 
Mm -hmm. God is good. Amen. Uh, Colossians, or, yeah, Colossians 3.10, can you read that? Yes, sir. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge, after the image of him that created him. <laughs> That's powerful, isn't it? So you're to put on a new nature mm -hmm. that is constantly being renewed through the knowledge. Through That's knowledge. Right. That's right. Right? Through knowledge. Faith uh, through the knowledge of what? Through the knowledge of the Word of God. Through the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. Through the knowledge of what Jesus has done for you. Through the knowledge of what God has provided for you through Jesus Christ. Through covenant. Mm -hmm. uh, so this knowledge brings with it faith. Faith comes by hearing and right. hearing by the Word of God. And it's this knowledge that supernaturally empowers you mm -hmm. to live that changed life. Amen. To live that victorious life and, and, to, and to master... Uh, what once used to master you, right? You know, Amen. before you were born again. That's good. Uh, so it is crucial to understand that that the importance of the knowledge of God in our lives. We are renewed by it. Mm -hmm. That is, we are uh, refurbished by it. We are constantly energized and strengthened by mm -hmm. the Word of God. Amen. Uh, so that simply means it would it would serve our best interest to stay in the word, right? You know, right? Uh, and be ready for whenever the devil tries to put something on you, he doesn't have to be successful, right? But let's be honest, uh, the majority of time people are not ready for any kind of attack. Yeah, the, you know, it's like the the watchmen are asleep in their in their Wherever they call them, you know, in the tower or whatever, because right. um, the Old Testament, or yeah, the Old Testament talks about watchmen that have fallen asleep at their post, right? Uh, and the enemy comes in, and mm -hmm. then they get, they have all these problems, they get overtaken. Mm -hmm. uh, we often just fall asleep. We're not ready for an attack. Yeah, you know, w whether it's sickness, whether it's poverty, whether it's our attitude, whether it's someone else's attitude, mm -hmm. we're just not ready for. You know, so we respond in the way that we were programmed to respond before we were born right, again. That's right, naturally. <laughs> and yeah. it's a tragedy. Yeah, it is. On our, for, for us, you know. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, yeah, it's like you said, it's through the knowledge of God that the div divine power works in our lives. We have it. We've been positioned someplace. But we, ha but the knowledge through the knowledge of it, we can apply our faith to it. We can apply our faith yeah. to it. So we have to constantly keep ourselves in the Word. Mm -hmm. It's a continual thing, right? You know, and if you have a problem area, then then find scriptures that deal mm -hmm. with that problem area and get them in your spirit. Amen. And and uh, and and uh, never never uh, abandon those scriptures. I mean, I've been studying healing. For decades, mm -hmm. and uh, and you know, even though I've been attacked, I've always come through it. Mm -hmm. You know, Amen. because my faith didn't falter, my mind didn't cave in to those thoughts. Mm -hmm. I did not let it affect my belief system. Right, and that is so important. That's key. Uh, and it's it's not an easy thing to do if you're not ready. Mm -hmm. You know, every soldier has to train. We are uh, when we are in our military. You have to go to what they call basic training. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, then you're not ready to go to battle. That's right. Or to go to other countries and defend your country. That's right. Well, we need to learn how to prepare for an attack mm -hmm. uh, as Christians, because uh, the devil is uh, he's hostile mm -hmm. and he's arrogant. That's right. And he's persistent. He is relentless. Uh, <laughs> but he's not tough enough. Right. And he's not strong enough mm -hmm. to overcome That's right. the believer. Amen. Depending upon the believer being ready for that attack. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so anyways, uh, our perspective is maintained and kept in its proper uh, place. Mm -hmm. It is a place of victory, a place of strength, and a place of overcoming. This yeah. is how we, this is what our overall 
uh, reaction should be That's right. to any type of thought, emotion, feeling, circumstance, situation that uh, is trying to be uh, that, it, uh, that is contrary to our faith. Mm -hmm. We should not allow it. Uh, uh, the best way you can shut the door on the devil is just say to him, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Mm -hmm. Jesus used to rebuke devils and demons all the time. He mm -hmm. rebuked when, when, uh, when Peter's mom, mother-in-law, uh, was struck with a fever. He, he, the fever. he went to her and he rebuked the fever and it departed from her immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the thing is, is we see fevers and we start running towards a medicine cabinet <laughs> or we start running towards you know and I'm not against the medicine cabinet right. or any of that stuff mm -hmm. but but uh, don't let that take the place of your authority mm -hmm. what Amen. you've been given in God uh, go ahead and utilize it but 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 utilize your faith first uh, mm -hmm. uh, Pray about what you should do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and if you can't get an answer, then go to the doctor. Do see see what's wrong, and then you have something to pray about, mm -hmm. uh, or just do what God tells you to do. I've seen many ministers that, you know, uh, uh, one minister broke his arm, and uh, 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 and the Lord said to him, you know, uh, if you would have done this, the devil wouldn't have been able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and and uh, he said, uh, he said, go ahead, get a cast. And he goes, and I'll heal you supernaturally. Mm -hmm. And so within, he got a cast, and it takes sometimes I think a month and a half or something like I don't oh, know. Yeah. Sometimes a couple months. Within yeah. a few weeks, like two or three weeks, uh, his arm was completely healed. Mm -hmm. Supernaturally, mm -hmm. speeded up the process because he got that in prayer. Yeah. Uh, and so. Uh, pray about what you should do and how you should do it. It's good. Um, Amen. You know, God is so good. Uh, uh, God just may say, I healed you. What are you worried about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Go on about your day. Go on about your day. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's a good one. Um, What do you know about God? Mm -hmm. uh, is God about covenant? Right. Does He keep His word? Is He reliable? Is He faithful? Mm -hmm. Of course He is. The word says it, and I've experienced it, and so mm -hmm. have you. God right. is faithful to covenant. That's right. Or God can is God wanting to destroy you if you mess up? Obviously, no. He's not one. To, God's not the destroyer. That's the devil's role. Mm -hmm. God is the deliverer. Amen. The healer. That's right. The provider. If you, if, well, I'll, I'll leave good. that there. Amen. Uh, it is clear through the book of Job that ignorance, or, uh, or you could say the lack of knowledge, mm -hmm. was the greatest hindrance in Job's life. Without it, his faith, uh, without it, his faith was hindered. Mm -hmm. Although he portrayed great character through the first uh, two attacks uh, of his life, he uh, began to feel sorry for himself in the third attack where his friends came together against him. Whenever uh, our circumstances bring us to a place of feeling sorry for ourselves uh, and we begin to ponder think on and uh, all of the things that are going wrong mm -hmm. uh, we also uh, we, we also always stop to look stop looking to God and what he is bringing us through mm -hmm. when you are going through a difficult time um, uh, don't ponder on that right don't That's ponder good. on that. That's just crazy. Yeah. Uh, but it's 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 a natural occurrence. Mm -hmm. But you're not a natural person. You dwell in the supernatural. Amen. You got the Holy Ghost living in you. You have inherited things. You're not 
spiritually poor. Mm -hmm. You've got, you're not anything poor, really. But you have the Spirit of God living in you. you got the greater one in you that has helped, that helps you overcome every time something goes wrong in your life. You're not a defeated foe. The devil is the defeated That's foe. That's right. You're right. the victorious one. And you got to remember that. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, don't ponder the bad stuff. Ponder the blessings and the promises of God. Amen. When one looks at themselves, they can only see what they're going through. That's right. Uh, when one looks to God, they only see what he is bringing them through. Mm -hmm. uh, God doesn't put us uh, in evil situations, but uh, rest assured, he uh, will bring us through them just like he did with Job. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. it's, you know, if you're going to go from a legalistic standpoint, Job should have never been delivered. Mm -hmm. You know, but thank God he's not legalistic. Amen. You know, <laughs> I mean, thank God he doesn't hold you to every little dot and tittle. Yeah. You know, Jesus yeah. died so that whatever law is violated uh, through in the scriptures, he died so that when you repent, you're immediately restored. Mm -hmm. And you have to realize that. Because you're in this body, he's taken account for that. He knows the weakness and the frailty of the physical body. Uh, he, the, the man that had his son that was demonic, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he went to Jesus and says, if you're willing, you can heal my son. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, uh, Jesus turned it around on him and said, if you believe, all things are possible with God if you believe. <laughs> That's right. And so the man goes, the man goes, I believe, help my unbelief, mm -hmm. which means he was in the, he was struggling with unbelief, but he decided to proclaim his faith. Mm -hmm. I believe, mm -hmm. and Jesus, seen the crowd coming and immediately healed the boy. Uh, you don't have to be perfect; you just have to believe in a merciful God, Amen. a good God, that's right, a God that is not going to hold you to account. For something you might have thought or something you might have done wrong, mm -hmm. uh, That's good, but you've repented of it. Amen. Right. Um, amen. God is so good. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Job 38, 33, God, God asked Job, Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Notice how God uses, uh, uses the words, knoweth. Mm -hmm. In other words, do you have any knowledge of? <laughs> do you have any knowledge of the ordinances of heaven? Right. Do you know how I run heaven? Mm -hmm. Do you know how angels are dispatched? Right. Do you know the laws of heaven? Uh, obviously, God's kind of like saying, you're not acting like you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Right? Amen. He's chastising him, but he's using words. That's right. Uh, uh, this was a rhetorical question. God knew that Job had no knowledge of the ordinances of heaven. In other words, the laws of heaven, uh, the measuring stick or standard by which heaven operates, in essence, God was asking, do you know the laws that heaven operates under that affects the earth or humanity? These statements were in direct reference to how humanity was affected through the fall of Adam mm -hmm. and devil becoming the devil becoming the god of this world. That's right. uh, <coughs> after the world system had become a dominant force in the life of humanity by which every evil thing has license to operate in in uh, in as orchestrated by Satan. Mm -hmm. After the fall of man, God, in his desire to deliver humanity, began to institute a plan that would bring relief uh, and exemption to the believer from the world system mm -hmm. and through the orchestration of how the devil has orchestrated the world system. Amen. Now, everything works through this world system. The sin, the sin nature, uh, that, that, that is in the nature of man that affects the way his inclinations, affects his, his, his thought life, his emotions, everything. 
his behavior, everything, is triggered uh, to the world system, this atmosphere in which uh, uh, the, the prince of the power of the air, that, that spiritual leader that has these legions of angels under him, uh, are whispering thoughts, right. That's right. Uh, opinions, uh, 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 speculations, suspicions, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all these things to trigger your sin nature. That's right. And so now you start responding in, in a way that you're not supposed to. Uh, how are you going to get a victory if you're responding and operating out of, out of the sin nature? Right. Because of the thoughts that have come into your mind. Well, you're not going to get the victory like that. You're going to become more and more miserable, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You're going to be. You're going to have to. You're going to start living by what you see, and not out of the gratitudes of right. your heart. That's we right. should be grateful for the people in our lives, Amen. and you know, and not mm -hmm. resentful at times. Yeah. We, you know, because we've been given that. Mm -hmm. We well, were saying this morning, you, you have a new DNA. That's right. You know, so God is so good. Amen. Um, thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm just so excited to teach these, these scriptures. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the plan, uh, okay. Um, the plan began through the blood mm -hmm. atonement. That's right. And by the reason of his plan, certain spiritual laws came into mm -hmm. effect. Amen. If one operated in fear, they would find themselves um, operating in the world system. If one operated in faith, they would find themselves operating in the ordinances that brought them relief and uh, exemption uh, from the world Amen. system. For the believer, God first instituted the law of Moses, which brought relief to the believer's life. Uh, for those who chose to obey the law, they would uh, begin to receive the blessings of the law. Uh, the curse of the laws were merely a picture of a, believers, of, a believer, of a believer operating in the world system under mm -hmm. the law of sin and death. Uh, Romans 8.2 uh, A new law has been instituted for the for the New Testament believer, for the one who uh, has uh, accepted Jesus as the Lord and their Savior, uh, we are no longer under the law of Moses. We are under the law of the Spirit of Life in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, that has set us free from the law of sin and death, which was the Mosaic law, mm -hmm. uh, because they couldn't keep it. That's right. Uh, however. Uh, God, uh, being a righteous God, a just God, has to uh, observe certain spiritual laws that, if violated, allow the devil to operate within uh, uh, within the sphere within the, within, his, within his sphere of authority. When Christians choose to operate in the world system, they begin to operate in the law called the, right. the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. The law of sin and death is activated when the Christian chooses to either doubt as opposed to believe in God's word and act outside of God's word mm -hmm. in direct defiance or rebellion. The word, the world system is for the rebellious, mm -hmm. yet the Christian can choose to live there. That's right. Because God does not take away your choice. Right. Uh, so when we understand that the Greek word for authority that we have, I think we might have been, were we touching on that this morning a little bit? I don't think so. Okay, that was another teaching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, well, the Greek word for authority that you've been given uh, is exousia. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that means that you dominate. Mm -hmm. You have the power and the influence to dominate right. your 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 evil forces that come against you but it is it is exercised by choice right so you can kick back and let the devil uh, trample you mm -hmm. you can kick back right. and let him drive you insane through all the thoughts and fears and worries 
or you can choose to take authority mm -hmm. over it and put Amen. a stop to those thoughts. That's right. Um, it, so it's a choice. Mm -hmm. uh, our uh, behavior, m uh, mor morally, ethically, and spiritually, will determine what law we choose to operate under. Mm -hmm. uh, when a Christian gains the knowledge of his covenant with God and chooses to operate by faith in that covenant and by faith in the blood of Jesus, uh, the, that great ransom mm -hmm. that was given for us, uh, then God can intervene and hold back the forces of hell, mm -hmm. the forces of evil. Uh, we will give, he will give us great victory and triumph over the enemy, over the economy. He will give us physical, he give us victory physically mm -hmm. and spiritually. Uh, uh, remember, because we are uh, on this earth, the world system will operate on this earth and will try to seep into our lives. Uh, and our faith will be tried. Mm -hmm. We see right. that in James chapter 1 verses 1 through verses 2 through 3. Uh, uh, the very nature of, of the world system is that of the uh, of its organi organizer, originator I mm -hmm. guess, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's right. uh, John 10.10. 10. But because we operate under a higher law, we can overcome every attack of the enemy. There are times when God will have to chasten or correct us through His Word. Mm -hmm. Boy, I wish uh, we're out of time, ain't we? Uh, yes, I'm being told. I'm well. Uh, we'll get into this a little bit more. We might have one or two more teachings left. Yeah. I'm trying to get through this. Trust me. <laughs> uh, but I hope it's still a, a blessing to you, uh, Amen. so that you kind of know how God, who God is, how He functions, mm -hmm. how He operates. If you know yeah. God's a good God, if you know He's not going to put junk on you to teach you something or to try to bring correction to you, That's right. you know He's not that kind of a God. Mm -hmm. He's a good God. He's a merciful God. He's a delivering God. You just believe in Him. Stay close to Him. Walk with Him and you'll be safe. God bless you. Appreciate you. We just believe in God for your prosperity and your health and your healing. In Jesus' name, uh, be blessed, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you for joining us today. If the ministry of the Word has been a blessing to you, please consider contributing to the work of the ministry at www.redeemedcf.breezechms.com forward slash give forward slash online. You can also text to give by texting the amount you would like to give to 602-962-3848. If you have a testimony of how the ministry of the word has been a blessing to you, please send us a message on one of our social media platforms. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for your continued support of the work here at Redeemed Christian Fellowship.